Good evening, everyone. Let me just double check that the sound is good. Yeah, sounds perfect. Okay, so I'm going to continue where I left off the last time. Um, this uh, I had some time today to have a second look at this code before starting the stream. Uh, the stream. Um, so I found out what I was doing wrong. I discovered what was the problem. So basically, uh, here when I was getting the image import descriptor, I was actually instead of getting the image underscore directory underscore entry underscore import I was getting this other one um, let me do it in another way uh, okay don't be an egg uh, what was it Directory, directory, uh, import address, was it? Uh, anyways, now I am not able to find it. Interesting. Um, but uh, it was the wrong value. Um, I was actually getting the import other stable um, entry instead of uh, instead of the right one instead of this one uh, it's interesting because I'm not finding it I think the autocomplete is not working very well or I'm doing something wrong no suggestions yeah the autocomplete is not working very well um, and that's probably why I'm not finding it so if we go into the definitions I was getting this one instead of getting um, this one here so that's why I was getting all the access uh, memory access violations um, so yeah that solved the problem um, what else so and then I played around with the code a little bit after I figured this this one out. I played a little bit around with the code, um, and decided to actually instead of comparing addresses, instead of going straight to the to the first tank, uh, I decided to also make use of the original first tank um, to get first the names, compare the names. And then another thing that I was missing was the virtual protect so that I could actually change uh, the value of, uh, of the address. So that being done, um, I was able to deter the function, to hook the function. So I was then doing some tests validating that this uh, properly works and I wasn't getting any uh, calls into this function so I was like mm, but I'm pretty sure this should be working right now I didn't see any bugs um, and then I thought to myself okay let's use API monitor again and try to identify uh, which 
Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just being distracted by something else. Um, which functions it's actually calling. And I saw that the create process uh, process w is actually called from a module called um, shul.dll. And then Firefox itself uses another function called create process as a user w. So, yeah, it, my hook wasn't being called because first I'm hooking only the, the create process w function. And second, this function is called from uh, shul.dll. Uh, and not from the Firefox process because I was changing the import table for the Firefox process and not the shul DLL. DLL. Um, so what I need to do is actually Instead of going through the import table, because these functions can be called apparently from different modules as well, um, is to go to the export table of kernel32.dll. This way, from whatever module or from Firefox, whatever function is called, it will always be intercepted. So instead of using the import table hooks that <laughs> I've been developing for the past uh, two streams at least, uh, I'm going to do the um, export. So basically what I'm going to do, most of this code can be reused, but what I'm going, what I'm going to do is just create a little bit of a copy of this. I'm going to add here new file. Just not to lose it, just as a backup, because I know this uh, is working. And then I'm going to modify this code to instead of detouring uh, or hooking the import table of firefox.exe to hook the export table of kernel uh, 32.dll. So this here will change from import to export. Oh, also, I did some changes. I basically added some comments. Um, Nothing very fancy, just to break the, co uh, the code down a little bit. I changed the name of this macro. I had to remove the underscore. Uh, I changed cast from cast to type uh, because cast is the action of converting something to another type. Uh, so that's what I did to be a little bit more semantically correct, at least from my point of view. Um, Uh, let me just correct here because I'm upgrading some uh, machines here at the same time that I'm doing the stream so it requires a little bit of attention from time to time um, yeah so basically I renamed this as well I, I called like uh, I called the pointer to the original function old create process w and to the new one or the hook function I called it new um, what else yeah, and that's about it. Uh, this part of the code can go away. Um, now what we need to do is to create clearly a new um, type def, a new prototype for this function, create process as user w, because we will need to hook this one as well. Um, and more, create the prototype, uh, create this new function, uh, this new 
variable as add a new variable like this one create a new hook, hook function and then actually hook the export table so let's start with that oh i also added this function which is basically means make delta make pointer is when you have an address and you add an offset and this is the same thing a make pointer but is for when you subtract an offset um, I'm not sure if I'm I, probably I won't be using this but sometimes it's useful so that's why I added it um, maybe I will need it maybe not uh, but it doesn't hurt Okay. Oh, I don't have enough uh, disk space. What? Yeah, this is not going well. Maybe I have. Why do I know? Well, oh, okay. I'll have to increase the disk space of this machine. It's not gonna do it now. Also because I need to so I need to probably also my Macintosh security update update download and restart. Okay, now it's time to put my Mac OS updating. Uh, yeah, so sorry about that. Focusing. So we need to create a prototype for that function. So this is the best thing to do now is create process as user w and go to its definition, which should be this one. Uh, and we come up here. And we say type def, and this one we don't need, this one we don't need, uh, okay, this one we need because it specifies it's by default the standard uh, STD call, uh, calling convention. It's, there's a calling convention. And uh, there are many calling conventions, and one of them is uh, STD call, standard call. And it's, as the name says, is the standard call, which is implemented in a specific way on Windows and in Linux is in a different manner. Um, but is by default the calling convention for Windows API. And it's also the default calling convention when you are compiling for Windows. So it doesn't, it's... It's not really mandatory, uh, but it's always good, um, especially if you are dealing with um, C++ code. Sometimes it's useful. Now, um, so we have the prototype is done. Now we need to create our hook function. Let me, I think this function is also in kernel 32, right? I think so. Let's see. Let's see if I'm not doing anything wrong. Oh, it's actually not on kernel 32. It's actually on uh, ADV advanced API 32.dll. So that's good to know. So we'll have to hook one function on uh, uh, on ad advanced API and on kernel. Okay. So let's just focus on it. And this one. This one's. Oh, I forgot that I need to 
change this. So it's a pointer type for This one needs to be like this. And then here we will call the original function return old create process as user w and then is h token it's probably easier if I do it like this and then take these ones out So this way should work without a problem. Anyways, it's okay if it goes a little bit above the... Well, it's not really a little, but uh, yeah. Nowadays everybody has big screens, so it doesn't really matter you, you don't really need to have like a hard limit on 80 characters that you need to that was a thing of the past because everybody had guess what 80 columns oh, for characters on their screens nowadays that's not true anymore so anyways I digress and I need to call this new Process as user. So now we have the prototype. We have a variable to store the original um, uh, pointer or address of the function so that we can then call it from our hook. Now we need to deal with um, the export table. It's I think, in a way, it's a little bit simpler than the import table. I hope I don't make as many mistakes as I did with the uh, import table. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's try that. So this should be export, actually. Export descriptor and the next thing we need to do is to actually go inside of it. Uh, so there's two things to the export table address of names an address of names ordinals so it's the same way that you could import a function by its name and by its ordinal you can also export it makes sense right otherwise you couldn't import it um, and do we need the ordinals not sure if we need the ordinals, I'm not sure. I don't think we need the ordinals. Um, yeah, let's yeah, let's do let's go for it. So we need to iterate over the export directory. Uh, also, let me change this name from import descriptor to export. So, if we do, let's see what fields 
script or it's a pointer, so. Oh, he has a number of names. Okay, so we can iterate based on that. Um, okay. X equals zero. Index less, sorry, less, less than scripter, and then number of names because we're gonna try to identify the function by its name, and then plus plus index. So and now we need we need the others of the functions or no we need the addresses first we need the addresses of the names right so so it would be address of names and I'm pretty sure and this address of names is um, how do you call an offset let's just open something let's just open Firefox it's gonna be Firefox so data directories it would be this one and then export directory Yeah, it's a relative virtual address, so we have to add up to it, which makes sense, it has to be. Um, and this would be just a pointer in the end, right? It would be then a pointer because it's a somewhat of a table structure with names. Okay, so it's pointer um, let's call export names which equals make pointer um, and then is we call it does header and like this mm. let me check the did I verify the no, I actually didn't I just used it straight let's say if if the export descriptor equals null which shouldn't happen, but it's most more likely to happen is um, well anyways, doesn't matter. I was going to check if this was equal to this in terms of address, then it meant that this value was zero. Um, anyways shouldn't happen. Um, so export names oh, Mac OS already updated so it's done cool uh, so now what we need to do is get the address of the name so it's probably a p string so it's an nc string um, and we call it export name, which is equal to make hmm, because this is.
This is because we have here a pointer to uh, basically an array with all the address, all the names. Mm. Okay, let's see. Does header address is no, sorry, my bad. This is string C string and then pointer to a constant string and then the export export names and then the offset is gonna be no sorry this is dos header and then this is export names Can I do this? It's a good question. I'm not sure if I can do this. Now the compiler won't complain, I think. Will it? Probably is complaining already. Invalid type conversion. Yeah, because it's... What if I do a... Uh, can I do this? And I do a pointer of U long longs? Yeah. Mm. Let's hope it works. Yeah, because, because it's a pointer so it's an array with u longs, and basically what I'm doing is I'm reading the address at the exactly. I think it will work. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So next we need to um, compare it, I guess. So, and we need to compare with create process w and x name, export name, <coughs> sorry. And then we also need to compare the, with the Oh, and I need to change this actually. I need to change this. Because this is not what I want. I want the. Um, yeah, because it's kernel32.dll and. Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, and ADV API 32.dll. So. 32.dll, I think. So let's start with this one. Then I have to generalize this function at some point. Um, so now, if, and I need to check if this is different from zero, then we'll just continue on to the next. Uh, exported function. Otherwise, we have to hook it. Hmm. How do I? How do I hook it? OK. 
because I need to get because I get the address of oh address of functions no yeah address of functions yeah I think this is it so let me see what is the definition is a D word so let's P U long how do you hook that hmm let's see addresses equals make pointer uh, actually noticed here I need to change this change this to this and then which um, export descriptor then address of functions and then if I do this oh, sorry not this this and I say index then I should have the original uh, function so the orish or not orish old I called it old 8 create process user w equals to uh, make pointer from p create process w to dos header where the offset is this All right am i missing something what am i missing Uh, yes, I'm missing something, indeed. Wait. I'm missing something because it's not that, it's this. Okay. <laughs> so this should, in principle, give us the original uh, export address. So what I'm going to do, uh, assembly this is a pretty neat technique that you can use with debuggers especially if you're not source debugging you're debugging only the binary uh, I'm actually is it how I think it's, this is the way uh, wait how do you um, assembly interrupt tree instruction I don't think it maybe it doesn't have the the tree how do you what's the it's just the int no it has it has int tree hmm. yeah it does have it so it should be like this hopefully let's see error one Ooh, many errors okay so we are missing some semicolons somewhere I think yeah missing here one semicolon oh yeah that's also an error. Yep. Let's see what else is failing. P 
Okay, image export to, yeah. Forgot to change the type. Fair enough. And int and the word. Okay. Because this is a D word indeed. This can cause problems. Especially with overflows and all these other things. So let's just make sure we get it right. Mismatch for operand. Okay, so it was together. Anyways. Okay, so we compiled the new version. Uh, this can be closed. This can be minimized, minimized, minimized. Replace the files. Let's debug and see how it uh, how it's working out. Um, what did I do? Yeah, I'm doing it right, I think. Okay, before the create remote thread. Now we attach to Firefox, which is in suspended state, but it doesn't really matter. And we run the injector. And I have a TLS callback, TLS callback too. And it starts already very nicely. Saying access vi exception, access violation. Why? And this is, is not even in my code. Why is it? I'm not even hooking anything. This is uh, some quantum crazy stuff, is it? No, oh, it just crashed completely. Oh no, wait, wait. Wait. Go to, no, following disassembler. Hmm. Why is it putting on RCX this? Is it because it uses here? I'm not using it. I sometimes the compilers make me go crazy. But I think it's failing on the um, on here. Is the string the string comparison. So clearly, I am comparing with the region of memory that I shouldn't be comparing. So most likely this is utterly wrong. Um, okay, let's uh, leave the breakpoint, stop this, restart again. Okay, attach again to Firefox, let it go, then inject the library, first TLS callback, second TLS callback, and then here we are. So clearly it's wrong, yep, clearly it's wrong, because RCX is pointing to a valid place in memory, which is where the create process w string is, but uh, rax is not, clearly it's not pointing to a right place in memory. Hmm. 
Hmm. And Rex is coming from here. Where I do this. And I do this, which is our make uh, pointer macro. So it should be the second one. So we have export of names. Which is what we want. So this is the first one. Which is this one. This is the second one which is this one um, and I think the one that matters to us is this one which is this one so let's try again Great remote thread attach um, What did I did wrong? No, sorry, didn't do anything wrong. Not yet at least. So now it should yeah. First TLS callback, second, and then breakpoint here. So, Rax is currently pointing to following dump, dump one. It's currently pointing to kernel 32.tll, which is correct. And then we're going to add the offset RDX 8 ECA 8. So, let's just go to here. Let's open uh, wrong keyboard. Oh my god. Hit this thing. Which one is it? Yeah. Windows Windows slash system thirty two slash kernel thirty two dot TLL. And let's look at the um, export directory. Address of functions eight e c a zero two zero uh, no eight e c a eight and if we look here our rdx is eight e c a eight so that's perfect so if we step in now if we follow in dump and we follow this address. Oh no, because it's a D word. Hmm. Is it a D word? Is it a D word? Address of functions. is an offset then it gives us a pointer that uh, it doesn't really look like clearly it's not string so this must be offsets as well um, but they seem a little bit strange it starts with 6f they're not very consistent. I would expect them to be a little bit more consistent. Right. Oh no, wait. Uh, one, 
two, exactly. Ay, ay. So, well, if we go forward, yeah, it then goes on to try and compare. There's something that is completely out of the out of this world, literally. So let's see. Let's see what I'm doing wrong. Uh, oh, WikiLeaks. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Ay, ay. Uh, this one, maybe. Okay. Image export. Okay. That's because he's referencing it. He gets the address of functions and it's Okay, he's a pointer to a bunch of D words. Um, uh, wrong. Which is what we are doing. Ah, no, we are doing it wrong. Are we doing it wrong? Yes, yeah. damn it. Because this is. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Because it's 32 bits, still the, the offset are 32 bits. Is it? Is it? Why I'm doing, probably I'm doing this wrong. I, I think that's the case. I think that is the case. I think that is the case. Let me... So we need to calculate the offsets. Uh, do I have open office on this? I don't think so. Can I see this in cache or something? Yeah, cool. Blah, blah, blah. Assembly, assembly, assembly. Yeah, it's only assembly. Yeah, not gonna help us that much. No. 
not what I want. Okay, wait, let me think. <sighs> but when I'm doing this conversion, what values am I putting it out, putting out? Damn it. Ugh. Well, this uses you sh you short for real. I know here you long. Yeah, but that's the word. Oh man, couldn't they make this harder, eh? Let's see. Oh. oh, interesting how he's doing it. Um, and then he's to referencing. Oh, wow. Okay, well, what I want. And this is import table, so. Okay, let's see this one. Can always rely, uh, rely on the hooking uh, on the uh, cheating community, cheating community. Debug hooks, hook types. Let's see what they do for export address hooks. Mm, blah blah blah. Hook EIT. Okay. Here it is. So it gets the target module. Well, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Image gets the anti header, gets the image export for tool address. Then it gets the address of functions. And then for each function, it makes a pointer. Funks. Okay, that's okay. Oh, I see. They are they aren't doing string comparison. They are doing address comparison. Hmm. But for that, you need to call the get proc address function first. 
in order to know that, right? Uh, what is the f mm. Let's do something. Let's do this. First, let's check one thing. Check that our interrupt is here. It is CC. So that's correct. So that works. So let's add an interrupt just before we do this just before um. well, let's redo let's see now we attach to the Firefox process, we run it, then we inject our library, should start triggering stuff, TLS callback 1, TLS callback 2, breakpoint. Okay, that's it. So, which is exactly before, so we step over the breakpoint. Ah, oh, come on. Debug advanced. Step into... Really? Step over and swallow exception. Okay. Can I set the I set new origin here? Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, funny. So racks points to nah come on for real I wanna Okay debug advanced uh Are you for real? Why can I not just ignore the goddamn exception? Okay. Assemble. Nop. Thank you very much. Does it work now? Yeah, it does. Cool. <laughs> My word. Okay. So. Rax becomes, it's basically pointing to the kernel DLL, kernel 32 DLL, no it's not. Oh, no it's not because... Um, no it's not because what we, what we are doing now is getting the address of names, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. That's the other soft name, the yeah. Exactly. So if I go further down, so EDX becomes 9061C, which is where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? Hmm. Ninety sixty C. That's supposed to be 
this one address of names so hmm. why <clears throat> I'm looking at the right one, yeah? Doesn't look far off from this. Ah, okay. Yeah, I need to scroll down. Yeah, I wasn't seeing everything. Yeah, that's I was looking at. Yeah, I was looking at the address of functions. My bad. Sorry. So it's nineties. Uh, yeah. So it's correct. Uh, so it's correct. Yeah, the value is correct. Oh, okay. So, and now it should be pointing. So if I follow in dump. It's pointing to the address of names. Which looks really, really weird. Let's okay, let's search for Let's see what size this thing is. I don't think this is gonna help much. Well, it would if I wasn't, if I was willing to be reading the entire thing, but I don't really feel like it. Um, It's making it a D word. This is like this is only works in thirty two bits. Okay. So recreation, okay. Let's let's see. Please tell me this works also in. Maybe I'm just overthinking this, but uh, it's also you un unsigned int. And then it gets the RVA. Ay, 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 ay. Hmm. 
Uh, no, sorry. Because this one also does the same thing. Oh no, it's not using names. Yeah, true. Um, go back again. Come here. And if we go down. Not too much down. Let's see here. I remember when I started a long, long time ago, 2000 and I don't know, it doesn't even exist anymore. Oh, that's good. Uh, what was the name? Exilian, uh, something like that. Exilian. Yep, uh, it still exists. Wow. Oh man, no, please. Come on. Oh. There's no version of this online anymore. Oh wow, I'm really, really getting older. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so how do we play this? Let's clearly. So anyway, this is pointing to the address of names. Uh, so it gets here. And this one is pointing to the address of functions. Uh, and then Because if I make it a D word, it will not have the entirety of the address. The address will be will be cut off. So then it jumps. Did it jump there? Oh, because it enters the four. Yeah, it enters the four. <sighs> Which is zero. So this is the index which is zero. Uh, 
and it gets racks which is the address of names and then he adds rdx rdx is what? is zero so he's the first one yes but this Hex is what? Uh, let me check here. Because the offset is the target. Yeah. Yeah, still is, yeah, okay. No. Um, so we are here. So I'm doing it wrong because I'm RTX is zero, right? So it doesn't change a thing. So what if I do this? Copy value. Okay, wait, copy. Address, go to, um, expression, that's not what we want. Because Rex is pointing there, but what I want, anyways, let's move on. So it's basically RDX now has this entire value, right? Yeah, this entire value. And then racks. Is that? So let's modify this value. And let's make it like this. So it's fifty seven to C as is zero. Okay. And let's uh, assemble this to EDX. 
Oh, anyways, RDX then. And if we do this, boom. Boom. Now Rax actually points to, so that's my problem. My, my problem, uh, okay, wrong. My problem is that here, yes, here instead of, I'm, I'm reading more than I should. Okay, how can I deal with this? Um, I can convert it to a D word. And convert it back. Um, let's minimize this one again. Because it's now, yeah, it's clearly that. Because from the moment onwards that I modify this to be only uh, 32 bits, so only carry this ones, these bytes here. It now points to the right direct, direct uh, right place. So if I follow this on dump, in dump two, for example, boom. Hmm. Okay, so to sort this problem out, what I am going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think the easiest way is really just add a cast to Ulong. Um, My problem is that this might be then... Because I have a pointer. To an array of D words in memory. And if I do, if I do this, my God, I hate pointer arithmetics killing me so if I do hmm, because my problem is that when I do the index it's gonna increment always so I cannot do index actually I cannot do, I cannot use index here. Um. Uh, 
its export names uh, it's going to be the export names I'm sure I'm struggling with this and somebody already figured it out uh, well for sure but because this one is a better example because it doesn't use the names and this one I'm pretty sure ah wait I'm doing I'm thinking wrong because it's a pointer to the words not a the word pointer well uh, it doesn't make <laughs> it's not making much sense what I'm saying uh, I think I figured it out what I'm doing wrong because a pointer is a pointer and its size doesn't depend on the type but on the on the bits of the architecture so this will always be 64 bits but when I reference it by using um, brackets as an array it will then read only um, sorry only the four bytes not the eight bytes only 32 bits right yeah I'm pretty sure that is it let's try it Wow I'm very confident that this will solve the problem. <laughs> so basic. Very, very basic. Anyways. Okay. Let's attach to Firefox. Let's let it run. Let's inject our library. TLS callback, TLS callback, and a breakpoint. Let's assemble a knob. Okay, so follow in dump one. Okay. Yep. That's okay. And we are going to the second, which is the export names. So if we do this. Rax is pointing to following dump where we were before. So let's just mop this one. Now the part that matters. Oh no, this is still getting the export addresses. So the part that matters is this one. So let's just let it run until then. And RDX is zero. So it's the first entry. Yep. Damn, boy. That's the problem. Okay, so now I figure it out. Okay, it was just its pointer ar arithmetics is the the hard thing. 
is sometimes is really really tricky uh, because basically it, it's still a pointer its value is still 64 bits but then when you dereference it then it has only four uh, uh, bytes or 32 bits because it's a, a pointer to a bunch of 32-bit uh, size variables or oh, not variable values yeah. great um, so what we are going to do now is continue the debugging and we're gonna break always here take these breakpoints out it should work now wow uh, can I add a code jump not equal um, breakpoint set conditional breakpoint um, how do I set uh, can I do this as the equal let's forget equals zero is it like that I don't know. Let's try it. Anyways. At some point in time, uh, breakpoint toggle break no wait breakpoint toggle breakpoint breakpoint toggle huh. it should and uh, just before the return just let's see yep okay so it found it Um, create process w perfect it found the function okay now let's see if we get ax perfect and now racks should be pointing to the kernel 32 um, create process w function if i do next perfect awesome okay it's working Woo. so yeah cool now then we try to save the value and if we go to this following dump Well, it saved the value, that's what matters. And it exits. Perfect. Or, or why is it still okay? Because I didn't. Uh, let me check. Oh, because I didn't exit the. Uh, the for loop so it needs to return true <laughs> so this can go yeah i was really getting confused um about uh, about pointers here it's really, really getting confused about it. Anyways, so 
now what we need to do is actually change <laughs> this value um, and the thing is how do we change this value because this is this is an offset right this is an offset the export table is an offset so how can we so we need to calculate an offset to for our um, new create process w in relation to the kernel 32 dll and that will most likely be a, a make delta for sure right um this one this one was better yep it's a make delta okay good 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 that's really good that's what we want what is our hook to target yep that's what we want exactly i knew this fun this uh, little macro would um, would be useful as well so now the word Uh, we need to virtual make the memory writable and so to make a memory writable old uh, which part of the memory do we want to make it mm. We want to make export addresses um, I don't want to make I want to make because it's a D word so I want to make it will change the entire page in memory anyways, but uh, uh, let's see how they do it. Oh, they just reference. Yeah, yeah, they just get the address. Okay, that's good. That's, uh, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, they just get the address for this, the memory address for this one by using the upper send. operator that's great so then the size is basically size of u long and uh, mem read uh, is it read or write what is the page read write sorry page read write then the old protect is also passed by reference old protect and then what I want to do is say that this export address entry is going to be equal to the make delta 
or DLT as I called it, make DLT, uh, where I say it's a ulong, and the address is the um, thus header of the kernel 32 DLL, and the offset is Hmm. Exactly, is my function. So it's the new create process w. Right, let me see how they are doing it. Let me check one thing as well. Virtual protect and STN. <sighs> A pointer, if this parameter is null or does not point out, the function fails. Now I'm seeing if I could get away with uh, not making use of it. Uh, anyways. And I want to restore it. Uh, old prote new protect the memory page protected is permitted. It must be one of ta ta ta. Mm. Okay. Uh, I was saying if I didn't need to, because I don't really care what I know what was the old protection. It's this one, because we first set this one and we store the previous one and then we want to restore it again. Um, and it says here that I do need to pass something. Yeah. So anyways, looks good. So Let's make a clean copy all. Uh, how can we test this? So the problem is that uh, the first function to be called, uh, if we look at API monitor, uh, it still was called from Firefox. Oh, no, we should still get calls to it. Okay, let's try, and then we set a breakpoint, and uh, it should trigger. Um, and the easiest way to do this is I just gonna come here. I'm gonna do ASM int three. Oh, this is gonna be so nice if it triggers on this function. It means it's working. If it doesn't trigger, then I'm just going to bed. <laughs> uh, I'll give up for today. Okay, so let's try it. Hmm. Good. TLS callback, entry points. So just before we inject our library, we're going to attach to Firefox. We let it run, and we inject our library, TLS callback, TLS callback, and now we just let Firefox run. 
let Firefox run. TLS callback, perfect. And now we have a bunch of exceptions that we just let it pass into. Oh, but then the, the breakpoint. Um, if we pass exceptions, uh, wait, um, library, where's my library? Here it is. Okay, I have a breakpoint on it. So let's just debug, pass exceptions. Access violation, awesome. And it's, <laughs> so we changed clearly. Uh, so clearly it's calling create process uh, W function because it's passing all these parameters here. Uh, I cannot make this big, but anyways, if I follow in dump, it's passing all these parameters here that we can see here is the ones that are usually passed as well. So uh, that were registered by API monitor. So clearly we are doing the pointer arithmetics. I'm doing the pointer arithmetics uh, badly again because it's pointing to a access uh, to a region in memory that doesn't exist. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well. It's uh, close enough, I guess. It's close enough. Let me see one thing. Symbols. Uh, kernel 32. Uh, create process. Seven F BB forty and yeah, completely. If this was correct, what it would appear here is basically our new create process w function and not this um, variable or this value. Uh, memory map. Uh, no, sorry. Because libraries fifty seven FE. So mm, but it's a delta. It's, we want to do a delta, but what we probably want, is the other way around. Mm, because, Because if we are, so kernel 32 is further down the memory or up the memory? So library is in 57. Yeah. Kernel 32 is further down the memory mapping. So we want a negative number. We want a negative number. So let's just try and do the other way around because this will be further down or we don't want a negative number so this is further down in the memory map 
Oh, what am I doing? I'm, I'm changing the wrong thing, sorry. It's this one. So, so if, let's imagine, this is the memory map. Uh, here we have kernel 32.tll and here we have our injected library .tll and we want this to it's the offset of the that exported function to point here and so this is further up in the memory and this is further down so this value here because they are going to add, it needs to be negative so that it goes backwards or goes further down memory. So basically what I need to do, because the make delta is still address and offset. So, I think this, so that it returns a negative number, but it's going to be a D word, so I'm not sure if this is going to be work, because it's unsigned, so, oh my god, it hurts my brain. Pointer arithmetics really make my, my brain hurt. Okay, let's try. So kill Firefox. Replace. Um, kill Firefox. Is it killed? Yeah. So restart this one, create remote thread, and then let's attach to Firefox. It's running. Let's inject our library. TLS callback, yep, don't care. And now let's resume Firefox. So this one breaks. This one breaks, breaks. Now debug, ignore exceptions, access violation. Well, I'm not sure if this is a different value. But clearly is not the right one. Okay, I'll uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, I'm just gonna double check one thing here because these guys here also make use of a make delta function. So let's see if I can find it or functional macro. So it should be around somewhere in here. I think. Yeah. So is x minus y, x minus y, and uh, and then they are making the difference between. Ah. Uh, Yep. Because the target to them, what is the target to them? The target to them is the module. Yeah. 
Yep. Okay, so... There's uh, clearly something that I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Yet again. Um, but at least it's changing the export address table, for sure. Otherwise it wouldn't give that uh, exception. Um, fair enough. I'm also not sure... Does he have any examples? No, I don't think so. It's a far proc. What is a far proc? I always forget. This is a very common... It's basically something like... Uh, yeah. It's basically a type def. Which is an int pointer. <sighs> Hmm. Okay, cool. I'll uh, leave it at that. I've been streaming for almost two hours now. Uh, it's 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 been productive. Uh, it wasn't as difficult that it was to make uh, to the export address table hooking is not as dif difficult as it was to get the um, um, import address table hooking working so well this is still not working but at least we can already see uh, things changing because of that uh, in the sense that now we are having a uh, once again, an access violation, but that's just because the address here is completely screwed. So, well, something to see, to check up on uh, on the next stream. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. I'll be. I'll probably try to do the next stream in like. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, maybe Thursday, Friday. Um, otherwise, on, on Sunday or Saturday, I'll do another one. Uh, it depends on what I'm going to be doing on the weekend. So thanks to anyone that watched and see you soon.